why are you not at the meeting for the governors? Because the trustee will say it again. But your, the trustee meeting starts at 11.30 and the governor's meeting starts at 11.30. And the trustee meeting started yesterday and it started at 9 o'clock. But there's a governor's meeting at 10 o'clock and you're not present. Do you want me to speak? No, I, no, no, no. I, I would like you to ask the officer why because you're not at the governor's meeting. I think they have a trustee meeting. Are you not? You're, you're here talking to me now. No, no, we, we had a trust meeting we had at 9 to 11.30. Now the governor's coming across oh, here. Right, so you have two meetings. You have two meetings. So we have a trusty meeting now. All right. So we have a governor's meeting coming over to meet the trustees okay. now. And then right. we have a continuation of the governor's meeting this afternoon. Okay. So that, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, thank you for clarifying. Yeah, that's all right. But, um, so, do you... Do you not feel that you should be present at the governor's meeting? No, we are. That's why they're coming over here. So that we no, can talk do you, to as an individual, do you feel that you should be present at the governor's meeting? Yeah. Yes, and that's why we're coming over here now to have a joint meeting at 11 But do you yourself feel that you should be present at the governor's meeting in Temple? Okay, I'll say it again. <laughs> that's why we're having a meeting at 11 30, jointly with them at 11 30. Right, right. And that's taking place in the Sailor, is that yeah, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Which is, I believe, just, just like that. Great, great. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. We shall leave you to it. And we shall wait for the governors to join us. Yeah, and coming over thank, shortly. thank you very much Not for accepting uh, the flowers and my own personal written statement. That's okay. okay. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Are you good? Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, we never say never. Um, I think I think the, the difference we look at the situation looks uh, different. Uh, you know, uh, I am the first to admit that we have thought we for the last two years we've looked at everything we consider. If, if there's something we've missed. The reason we've taken two years is by uh, because the desire is to keep the college here. Okay? There's nothing more that Andrew and I would want than to keep it. That's what we came in here to do. So this is not what we wanted to see happen. However, there are realities we can face up to. If we can change those, people come up with ideas we haven't thought of. Yeah, I mean, this is it. I mean, ideally, we, we would love to bring up ideas, but unfortunately, we haven't been told of it. And well, it's, yeah, it's difficult to do that. And so at the moment, there's just a debating public awareness. But, I mean, we, we're up for, for negotiations and talking, and really, we'd, we'd really like to learn more information. And so, and happy, and happy to, I mean, the, the interesting part is not negotiate, it's just a discussion, which is, you know, there's not much to negotiate. If people can come up with ideas that we haven't thought of, or they can see that we haven't done. <laughs> Then absolutely it's crazy not to. Um, what's possible to put a student group together and think directly? Why has there never been any consultation with local people? Why has the council never been talked to? Why have South Hams never been talked to? Why have the local people never been brought into this discussion? When this decisions of this trust affect everything that's going on in this local community, nobody has ever talked to us. Woo! You, and you want an answer? And the reason is because we will be discussing with the council. Oh, after the decision has been made. No, that's not an answer. The, the decision why has it never why been done? Not in the future. Why hasn't well, it? Well, let me let me answer the question, which okay, is that uh, we, we will be talking to South Downs, we will be talking to the district council, we will be talking to the RDA, and we will be talking to the government office. Because you don't have a choice now. No, no, because we have. We will be talking to them about the options. You have to bear in mind that what we're talking about is talking about what may happen in three to four years' time. Three to four years to try and consider our options. What we've talked about... No, the decision has to be made before the funding runs out in January. We, we still have time. There are still three to four months before a bid comes in. There are still many... There's still three to four years before any final action will be taken. We have plenty of time. No, 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 no. If you make the decision before the end of January, the action is signed and sealed and delivered before... You asked me, you asked me to say... You know, no, I asked you the question, why have you never consulted? I asked you, why have you never consulted the local community? Answer your question or not? Yeah, answer the question. Why did you never consult? Well, we have discussed, we have discussed with the RDA, with the government office, with Southampton, they are aware of the issue and we will continue to discuss it with them. And just as I was saying to this gentleman, if people can come up with interesting ideas that we haven't considered If you'd asked three years ago, then maybe people would have had time to come up with interesting we ideas. we have been discussing it for two years. Not it's with not us, you enough. haven't. Andrew, Andrew has been raising the issue. Not in the local community, Andrew you haven't. Andrew has been raising the issue of the sustainability of the college for the last Mr. two years, Lindsay, ever since he's been here, though. Excuse me.
I'm a second junior. Yeah. I mean, some of us have been here for years and years. You're just you've just been here for years. You're a blow in. So, so that, that makes it that makes it, I'm not allowed to and the relevance of that is what? As a member of the Board of Governors. Oh, we are, we are just about to make it. Basically, the trust doesn't want the college here, do they? That's not true, that is absolutely not true. You may, it may be convenient for you to think that, but that is absolutely not true. The convincing is that we have worked ceaselessly for the last two years to try and make sure that the situation is not We have been absolutely straightforward about it. We've been very open in the trust community. This story leaked to the press. Andrew has been very straightforward about the issues facing, facing the college, and, and we have felt that we would be able to overcome them. Unfortunately, we haven't. Been. We're talking about a couple of fields, a couple of buildings, and a bit of money. If you wanted answers, you could get them. You, well, you may think that you're talking about 20 million. And 20 million is a large sum. Frank, as you know, it is true. It is true. Because it's going to be 20 million immediately. 20 million is when you put the maximum number of figures together and you add them all up and you went the worst possible scenario and then you imply we needed a meeting. It is not worse. It is not very questionable. And the fact that it's being put around all the time, it leaves challenging. It is not as a Frank, Frank, you can challenge it, but as you can talk to the government, it's been talked about for a long time. Hefty have done their own review about what the capital needs of the college are. They have identified that it is 20, 20 million plus. You're right saying it doesn't need to be done immediately, but we need to know where you can get 20 million to make the college sustainable. And that just gets us to oh, stand the there there's, a, there's a point in that. Um, it, it quotes uh, your, your, your Machiavellian presidency um, that I witnessed um, in the people to uh, Tottenham's. My Your Machiavellian proficiency. Machiavellian, Machiavellian <laughs> proficiency. Well, I should read that with interest. Great, great. And okay. do you have any comments about that? Uh, no, I have no chance to read no, it, no, but no. I will write that to you. Oh, great. Uh, oh. We do have <laughs> we have the very meeting that you wanted to go to, which is the meeting now at 11.30 with the college governors, which we are... So, uh, Machiavellian proficiency. Do you I request that you, um, as a member of the government, Ask for an adjournment for 21 days on the basis that the student governor has not been elected and the student body has not been consulted. Uh, I, I was, I was, if the, I was the future of the college is to be addressed. I'll certainly raise an issue. Well, I'll certainly raise an issue. We're going into a meeting now, and you'll have to excuse me because we do need to go to a meeting. And I'll certainly raise that. The trust failed in its attempt to close the college in 1919. I don't, but I'm sure you can tell me. Oh, well, I think you should know, really, shouldn't you? Well, I, but, I mean, as, as a lady said, you know. I know that it's a college hit a financial crisis in 1990, and I think what you'll find is the, the trust uh, provided a million pounds to support the college and enable it to be. Roma, could you, you, you please enlighten us? The trust accused the college of losing a million pounds. Well, I mean, the reality is, the fact is, the money fact is, oh, hang on, no, 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 the let, the is, let her talk, she's the, the, the one fact, who saved it last fact, time. The fact of the matter is that the, co the trust uh, uh, gave a million pounds in order to support the college back that time. Um, are you aware that Lord Young resigned the trust shortly after, the, after that attempt and reported the trust to the Charity Commission? Well, so you aware of that? <laughs> Yes, I am. Okay, good. Well, I need to inform you that you've already been reported about the plan for charity commissions, about this meeting, and about the conduct of the meeting. So you may be able to have the to the charity commissions as well about the matter. I know that they are. Okay. Well, well, you'll excuse, the you'll excuse yes, as we go on to the meeting now. to talk about the very things you think that I know you want to talk about. Do you think your career might get a bit mangled over all this? Well, we'd like to be able to go on this as well. I'm interested in what it's like for dance. I'm interested in what it's like for dance. What about the local community? The chief executive officer of the dance team is full trust is not interested in his career. And by the way, this is the Oxford and Cambridge of the arts. You do know that. Sure. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you for your honour.